J Mob. Welcome back to another episode of MGW. Uh, we're just at the station and uh, got two four wheel drives heading out to the uh, uh, back country, try and find some uh, some little creeks that might hold a fish or two. Got a few cousins with us, uh, all the young young boys on the back. Yeah, we're just going to show them this uh, back country, bit of forward driving to get there and uh, go for a fish, hopefully come up with a feed for the boys to take home. Let's get it. First creek crossing. Pretty dry, shallow, sandy bottom, so it should be pretty easy. Don't need forward drive for this. that second creek crossing it's um, coming into the dry season now so all the creeks are low and uh, you don't need uh, four wheel drive which is pretty good didn't chuck her in anything just straight to a drive straight over and uh, we're into the back country now there's been a recent fire through here so I'll give you a look It does look like it's uh, bad and like it's done a, quite a bit of damage, but it's actually really good for the country. Um, especially if we get one more shower of rain, um, this this place will just uh, be booming with life. So it does look like it's uh, been burnt, but it'd be better to be burning now than uh, December. November, December in the in the very hot peak of the season, in the, what we call dry season. So yeah, a lot of it's still smoking up in areas smoldering. So we won't need a lighter today. We'll just probably grab one of them and uh, light our fire. But yeah, this is uh, the back country. What I might do is I'll chuck, I'll chuck back out there, bring it straight across here because there's a bit of a snag just there. So we'll see if there's, see if Daddy's home. That one's a little bit too small to uh, chuck on the coals for the boys. So you can see, just double twitch, slow wind, double twitch, slow wind. Bit of a snag there. Double twitch, let it sink, slow wind. And see, I've, I've hit that snag and it hasn't got hooked. If that was a treble, I'd be stuck or would have probably lost the lure there. So I really, really enjoy these soft plastics, uh, weedless. You can uh, get them in some good spots without losing the lure.
Oh, yep. Here's a bear. There's a bear. There's a bear. Here's a bear. I need a little one. I slipped in the mud as that hit. So you got that hook? Yeah, good hooks. Get him straight up. Oh, I hope that can't on camera. Nice little rat on the sniper lure. Really uh, impressed with these lures. Hey, they got a lot of movement in the uh, tail. Yeah, just it moves side to side really nicely, and you can see where that's hooked in perfectly in the side of the lip and uh, he wasn't coming off that bit of a glamour shot for the camera just a little rat we'll chuck him back hopefully there's uh, something a bit better in here we need a feed for the boys but yeah get this hook out there we go straight out and yeah get a nice release on this there he goes that's awesome yeah so how this lure works you can see all that uh, action in the tail the paddle tail that's how it um yeah really attracts those those barramundi and then um Yeah, so all that movement there and doesn't matter what sort of angle the barrel hit it at, as they push down and bite, you can see the hook releases like that and you've got them caught. And uh, to tuck it away, you just pull the lure up and tuck it tuck it back under and so I can run my finger across there. And it's not getting hooked, so that's weedless. Nice uh, weight down the bottom, so that will get it to sort of sink. And then I'm, I'm just double twitching and slow winding. And the barra seemed to really like it. Can't be waiting for you in the morning. I'm gonna leave without giving a warning. I'm gonna leave without giving a, giving a. But every time we say goodbye. We all know that it's a lie Now I'm all alone Cause you never show You say you will But then you don't Let it go I'm turning off my mind so I get by I just wanna be 